Hey guys, it's me, Good Games, and welcome back to the YouTube. And in today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing the first episode of the pre recorded episodes. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm currently on holiday, so this episode is actually going to be pre recorded, guys. So if anything has uh, changed with the plugin, I apologize. Um, this video was pre recorded about a week in advance. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you do, make sure you smash the like button and let's get right into this. So today we're doing a video on World Edit Selection Visualizer plugin. It's a really cool plugin and it uses Minecraft particles to display where you've got something uh, selected in your view. And as you can see, I've got this cuboid selection here. This doesn't just do cuboids, it does circles, it does spheres, it does cylinders, it does even the most complex of polygons. And it's really cool how uh, it actually works and it shows you this here. Um, so you guys can go check out this plugin with the link in the description and go check this out. Go download it. I highly suggest having it. There's some options that you can also configure in the config that we'll go through and also how to use all of the commands and everything, guys. So stay tuned. Let's get right into this. Today's video is sponsored by Syngoda. Syngoda is a new and unique marketplace where you can easily find hundreds of high quality, free and paid custom plugins to improve your overall Minecraft server experience. With the help of community and developer feedback, Syngoda is constantly working to improve the overall user experience. Syngoda features both their own plugins and plugins from developer you already know and love. Don't want to take my word for it? Well, why not listen to all the happy, satisfied customers? The link to the Syngoda marketplace will be in the description, so why not give it a try? Okay, so as you can see, I've got my first little selection here. Um, and this selection is the world edit selection that I've done with my wand. It goes to the edge of this cylinder thing to the edge of this building here. So if I do slash slash set dirt, there you go. So there you go. That actually was pretty quick though. Um, and you've got this big box and it's in there. And if we do slash slash undo, it'll really quickly just undo that right there and you've still got your selection there. So let's go and make a quick another selection. We'll do the selection from over here. So that's second pause slash slash pause one over here. And as you can see, we instantly updated very quickly. It's very quick, honestly. I I'm running on um, not the best specs of a server, but it's really quick at updating. So now, uh, and also not to mention, I'm running 80 other plugins, 83 other plugins on this server. So there's a lot of plugins running on this server and it's performing very well. <laughs> I've only got a four gigabyte server with a budget CPU so it's performing very well um, so what you can do is slash slash set gold underscore block and there you go and oh that was very instant very instant there just set it to gold underscore block and that's really cool how it does it so if we do slash 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 sell um, let's change we can change it to all of these things and it'll work with all of these things let's change it to a sphere and now if I go and um, do slash slash pause one then I do pause two over here and as you can see that's a really big circle and it's displaying it all here so let's just do it really quickly make a smaller circle um, to show you guys it does it really well let's let's stretch this one out let's make a really stretched circle I'm very bad at doing this world edit stuff and there you go um, we're going to make this the center point, and we're going to make this the radius. And there you go. We've got this circle. Now, to display that it's going to fully um, we'll go underneath, there you go. It goes all through there. Let's set it with um, dirt. So, slash, slash, set dirt, just to show um, how the uh, visualization looks compared to what it's going to be. So, there you go. We've set 12,000 blocks to dirt. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. There you go. And you can kind of see where, um, if I just start like chopping out some areas, where that visualization was um, all down here. And that's really accurate as to what the actual object has come. There you go. See, there's the uh, markings. And that's really cool. So um, if you're making something, you can actually see before you actually paste it in what it's going to look like. So we can do this also if we do slash slash select. We'll do, let's see, what are we going to do? We can do a cylinder. And what we can do then is go boom, boom. And there you go. We have a nice little cylinder. If I just like kind of stretch that out here. 
boom, boom. Let's make one over here. Boom, boom. There you go. And it makes a really big visualization here. If we do slash slash set. Um, let's do redstone. Underscore block. We can set that. And there you go. You've got that nice visualization. As you can see, it goes all along the side there. And it's really accurate to what you're going to get. So you can actually also use polygons with this. So if you do slash slash. Um, we get out our wand and we, we do slash slash cell. And we're going to do a polygon. And what we can actually do is we've got our 2D polygon selector. And we can do boom. And whoa. Okay. <laughs> so it's actually made it come off of this circle. I don't actually use world edit with polygons that much. So I didn't actually realize how that was going to work. That's so cool. Let's see what happens if we set that um, to redstone block. <laughs> wow. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Um. But I don't want to do that. I want to, like... Okay. We're going to start making our selection come out. Add a new point. Add a new point. And make this kind of just curve out really weird. Just make this come all in weird ways. Okay, so now we've got a weird selection. Now if we do... S now if we set that to redstone block... There you go. You've got that selection and you've got that visualization here where I've actually made that come. And that's, that, actually, that actually looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like, it looks like a flag. It looks like a flag coming off of like maybe a hole. I don't know. Um, so if we do slash slash cell and then we change it back to cuboid um, and we actually come and we're going to grab this schematic here. We're going to grab boom. I'm actually going to grab it from the bottom here. Hang on. Boom. Um, we'll grab it to here. Boom. Okay, you can see you've got that visualization there. And we can actually do slash slash copy. And what this is going to do is it's going to copy it to the clipboard. And if we start going through our commands, which is world edit SV, you can see we've got toggle. toggle. So toggle obviously toggles the particles. There you go. You've got the particles on, particles off, on. And then you've also got your clipboard. So this is what I want to show you here. You can do toggle and then clipboard. By default, it's off because it can get a little bit annoying. We've enabled our clipboard. And what's actually doing is it's showing us where the clipboard is going to be pasted. As you can see. And now if we move up. That's where the visualization is, and that's really cool. So, if I actually try and paste this onto this box, um, I'll, I'll give it a sh give it a red hot crack. It might not work exactly. Hang on, I need to kind of see where those particles line up. I think it's about there. And now, if we do slash slash paste, you see that it's pasted. Oh, we had a little bit of a gap. But it's pasted on there and that visualization actually shows us where it's going to be. So I'm actually going to disable that because it does get a little bit annoying. So you really only want to toggle that when you've got a clipboard. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, and now the um, whoops, clipboard. So now the clipboard's disabled and that's, that's, that's really cool. So I'm going to um, just once again, boom. Boom, square, and just once again, slash, slash, set, dirt. And there you go. It's a really cool plugin, and um, it works flawlessly every single time. And ever since I've had this on my server, it's really helped me out a lot. So we're actually going to go into the config now and show you guys what type of settings you've got there. Okay, dropping into the config, guys, we've got some things in here. We've got all the, we've got the check updates and all the messages that you get. In chat, um, you've got the save toggle, which means if you log off and you log back on, it'll save your settings and stuff. So like your toggle and your selections. Um, the selection update interview is 20 ms. Um, now this is one that I think would be a good idea to change. When it, so what this one does is when enabled, the particles um, display only when holding the world edit selection one. So I'm going to set that to true and we'll actually show you in a quick second what that shows. And uh, you can actually set it so that it won't show cuboid bottom particles. I'm going to keep that at true though. 
Um, but there you go, and you've got all of the different particle effects. You can change what particles you're going to be getting. So we're actually going to show you what that setting that done with the wands. So if we do slash WESV, and we do reload. Now we've reloaded the config. Now what you're going to see is I have... So we've got this selection here that we made earlier. I have the wand out, and now if I take the wand out of my inventory, uh, or out of my hand, sorry, you can see that it's actually updated, and that's so cool. So in my hand, on, off my hand, on. And I, that's, that's really cool, and I, I think that's going to be a good feature that you can uh, implement on to your server, because it's, it's really handy um, so that you can have it on all the time, but just not every time. Uh, you, all the time when you walk around you've got your clipboard showing then when you go to do a world edit it pops up So that's that's really cool feature this it's such a cool plugin guys And um, it does everything that you would do with a mod, but it's in a plugin meaning no one needs to install any mods guys So that's so awesome um, Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video make sure you smash the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications um, We will be uploading videos uh As you guys might know, I'm currently on holiday, so this video is pre-recorded. Um, I think this video is going to be coming out on a Tuesday, so the next plugin video will be on a um, the next plugin video will be on a Thursday. Um, but anyways, guys, I've also going to be uploading vlogs uh, of the holiday, but they'll be in between. So you're still going to be getting all your full plugin uploads on the Tuesdays and Thursdays while I'm on holidays. Um, but you'll also be getting extra vlogs as well. So that's uh, extra content for you guys if you guys are interested in the vlogs. Um, but if you're not interested in the vlogs, just stay tuned for the plugin tutorials because they're still coming. Um, anyways, guys, um, that's all from me today. See ya!